this is a weekend again and we have a glorious weather just look at those skies if you've been following my facebook then you know that i've been trying to decide whether i should work on my agavoidis cluster or if i should rework the mound by the fence but you know what it's such a good day it's only 1 pm lots of time i think i'll work on all of them Now let's have a look at this cluster. I built this about a year ago and I distinctly remember that it was about somewhere towards the middle or towards the end of winter last year. And I recall that I started working at that spot first then progressively moved over to this side. When I first built this, I really liked the sunken pots arrangement. I shared the photo around and it gathered lots of attention and even Laura Eubank shared it on her Instagram. And while it does look really lovely, it has an unfortunate drawback and that is the plants at the back are not getting enough sunlight and they're trying to reach out. Right now, those pots are facing backwards and the plants are trying to twist just to face the sun. This is starting to be a problem because the plants are deforming and there's lots of filler plants at the back which are starting to smother them. So I think I need to rework this area. I'm pretty happy with the ones at the front because right now they are upright and not really deformed. So I only need to work on the pots at the back. Now, we can fix up this spot. I'm going to use these rocks to fill up the space at the back. These are Tuscan rocks, oversized ones, and I got this from Soilworks a few months ago. I'm thinking that I'm going to save my soil for actual planting, so rocks it is. Besides, I'm going to place the pots in there. I'm not going to plant directly on that, so using rocks makes sense. It also forms a continuity against the mound that I made a few weeks ago. And as you know, consistency is the key. We keep falling down until we start a tear. But we can still be strong. Now I have to figure out where this once would go. So wipe out all your tears when words die. What I've done so far is to stage the bowls and as you can see, one of them is empty and for that, I'm going to place the replacement. Here's the said replacement. My work here is done. On to the next one. I now turn my attention to this mound. As you can see, everything is overgrown and the plants here could certainly use some trimming. I've got lots of ground cover in this area and they're actively growing now that it's cooler, which means that now is a great time to trim them. Besides, I could use all of those trimmings to fill up other parts of my garden. Let's go. But I won't When the world falls away and you feel caught I'll be there When nothing really seems to move us forward Hold on You feel alone by yourself about to give up But I won't We get falling down Until we start a I 
task is to fill up the gaps in this arc because if you look at it right now there's lots of space where I can insert more plants and given that I took lots of cuttings from the other mound over there I could use them here last thing, this spot is clear now. So we've got a clear view on the tulip area and I just need to wait for the grass to take over. Thank you to my patrons as Oscarino, Julie Seal, Snap Kui, Gloria Ninotti, Camille Narvaez, Linda, Tom and everyone else on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future episodes. You can expect a Let's Plant episode every Tuesday morning, Melbourne time and a recap every Saturday evening, Melbourne time. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Wait, don't forget to check out my Instagram. That's instagram.com slash seriscapades because I post an Echeveria photo every single day and you can find it under the hashtag daily Echeveria. I have posted at least 80 specimens in there and each post contains background information about the plant, some history, a bit of trivia, and some personal anecdotes. So do check it out. Alright, carry on. <laughs>